grout the tiling 24 hours later in the desired color with flexible and waterproof 706 Special Vogue Vede or 717 Eurofine Vede. Make sure you have the right tools. Use a clean trowel with sharp edges. This removes excess grout more easily and ensures more well-filled joints. Remove any adhesive residues and clean the surface before grouting. Start by mixing the mortar. Use a clean bucket filled with the right amount of water and mix the mortar mechanically into a lump-free mass. Then allow the mortar to stand for a few minutes and mix it again briefly with your trowel just before use. Apply the grout completely flatly, making sure there is no air trapped underneath it. Trapped air can cause cavities when the joint dries. Keep all connections free for the seal joint to be placed later. When all joints have been filled, they must be left to dry for a while. If no grout rubs off on your finger after touching the joint, this means it's dry enough to start sponging. Moisten the tiles with a slightly damp hand sponge. Then let them rest for one minute so that the grout can loosen on the tiles. Then with a circular motion and light pressure, brush the moisture off the tiles. Once the tiles have been pre-sponged, it's time to correct the joints. Do this by going over the joint with a damp hand sponge. Rub parallel to the joint direction and make sure you don't miss any joints. This ensures that the joints are well moistened and will dry evenly. Use as little water as possible and rinse the sponge regularly. Once all the joints have been corrected, the entire tiling can be sponged clean. For this, use clean water and a clean sponge. Sponge the tiles diagonally, trying to avoid the joint areas as far as possible. When doing this, use every side of the sponge. After one hour, sponge the joints one more time by going over all the joints again with a damp sponge. In doing so, make sure you touch all the joints. In this way, you remove the lighter dirt from the joints, ensuring that they are evenly colored. If a cement sheen can still be seen after drying, remove it with a clean and dry cloth. Grout the floor in exactly the same way as the walls. To clean it, you can use a sponge board and sponge tray. This often works better on large surfaces. Make sure you dry roll the sponge board enough to prevent the top of the joint from becoming separated. Also sponge the grouting on the floor one more time by going over all the joints with a damp sponge. This ensures a more even dark joint color.